Hi there, everybody. This is Kim Stedman from KimStedman.com, author, survivor, and creative mentor. And I also like to give you lots of little author, frugal author ideas. And here is one. It, you know, have you ever seen uh, the PDFs that you can type in your answers or whatever on the PDF rather than having to print it off and do it or whatever? Anyway. Um, that is sometimes uh, a costly thing to do to get done. You have to sometimes have some expensive equipment, but I have found um, a little program and it's real easy and it's free. Okay. And it is at pdfescape.com. Alrighty. Um, let's go there so that you can see exactly what it looks like before you've got something to work on. You can put in any PDF. They've got some limits here, you know, up to a hundred pages, 10 um, megabytes. But so that had to be a pretty large PDF. Uh, and you simply upload it. And depending on how many pages your PDF is, of course, is how long it's going to take. But then it brings you into your work screen here okay and I have already had already played with a PDF because I wanted to show y'all um, you know kind of how how easy it is to do it okay first of all you can uh, simply just do that you want to make a form field and you can choose text or if you want it as a whole big uh, text paragraph checkbox drop down now really all I've ever been doing is text all right and when you click that now that's highlighted so that means every time that you click the screen it's going to start the process for that box okay you use these arrows to adjust how big you want the space for somebody to be able to fill in so what you can see up here is the one that I did a while ago. I have, now see I clicked, I clicked to point to y'all and it put a box and I don't really want that box there. No problem. Go up and click the delete because that's, that's kind of the field that's highlighted right now and I can delete it off, it's no big deal. These are the ones that I did a while ago um, so you can see that they're purple. So it's showing you that's already a fillable space. The green ones are the new ones that you're putting in. But as I was telling you, you know, you can make your adjustment. So since in this particular PDF that I'm doing, you know, I want somebody to be able to take notes inside here. So I'm adjusting uh, this, the area that they can type in to be, to cover these three lines and and you can you know you can adjust and bring these in depending on how big of the space is that you need to fill you can adjust that here's an example of what would happen if somebody was to start typing it would it would click down and we'll open we'll open it and I'll show you in just a minute but this is how um, this is how it's done now. And so you just keep, you just keep going through and I, uh, it's click happy. If you click, it thinks that that's a new spot that you want. <laughs> so I wanted to just scroll down here and show you how if you have just, you know, a one, hold on. It's got some quirks, but hey, it's free. And once you start working on it, it you know, it um gets a whole lot easier. And anyway, there's not really I haven't been able to find like if you know that there's an area that you wanted to make the same exact size the next time it doesn't it doesn't um there's not a copy feature but you can just keep you know 
whoops, that doubled. Uh, all right, I'll get rid of that one. Anyway, you just keep you just keep fiddling with this. And you can change, like for instance, see here it it's filling in what the type style is that would be an automatic uh, when somebody goes to type into this field, they're gonna type in on a aerial font with 12 you know 12 point so if you had like if you were doing this and you knew that you wanted people to write that you wanted what they type to be larger letters then you would change your font size um, but you can then let's say that I had Mm, a piece of space that I wanted to make it a link. So you can type in your link. So if I had something on here and see it's, it's a different color on here now. So when I, if I keep this on here, if somebody hovered over that title, it would um, it would be a PDF clickable link. You understand? Um, and that's really uh, the only two that I've that I have used. Um, I don't make my fillable PDFs real fancy. Of course, you can, and I'm maybe I need to explore on that on a another video. <laughs> but when you're ready, when you're all done, and you you have what you want now. Along the way, you might want to save it because um, it does not have an auto save feature. So if you're working on a really long one, uh, save it along the way. But then when you're uh, finally ready, uh, you can download your PDF. So here we open up the um, fillable PDF and I've already had been already typing on here and realized that I had not shared uh, my screen with y'all. So pretend you know, or this person's typing in and now they could keep going. Uh, it, it would scroll on down. So, you know, the person's going to have to stop, but, uh, and then remember I showed you the clickable, See, I uh, made that, remember I made that one clickable. And so if I click it, then it would go to the website. So of course, you know, you could highlight your logo or if you've got your website uh, or any website that you reference in something, you could make it clickable for your, for your reader, for your client. Okay, so now we're going to go back to, uh, okay, and rem the uh, program is pdfescape.com. All right, I hope that gives y'all a little, another little tool in your author tool chest or in your um, tricks of the trade. <laughs> All right, talk to y'all later. This is Kim Stemmon from kimstemmon.com. Bye.